Do you have a problem of somebody draping over your shoulder uh, when you're trying to shoot a guillotine? My name's Nathan Haddad. I'm a black belt under Helio Seneca. Today we're gonna take a look at the high elbow guillotine. So oftentimes when we come out and we try to sit on a guillotine from the turtle position, when I sit, if my elbow's low, my partner can drape over my shoulder. And now that keeps me from being able to really get the proper finishing mechanics uh, that I'd like to have on a guillotine. So the nice thing about shooting a high elbow guillotine is I can start in a position where my partner has no way of draping because my hand is so high that he can't get over my shoulder. Okay, so the way that I like to do a high elbow guillotine is from a front headlock. So I start with my right hand cupped on the chin and my left hand over my partner's tricep. And what I need to do here is shoot my right hand as deep as possible. And if my head stays on this side, you'll notice my right hand can't come super high. So what I wanna do is shift my head to my right this way so that my hand can punch up. Okay, and one thing you'll notice here when I do this the right way, rotate here for me, Max. If you can see, Max's head is kind of in my pocket here uh, of my armpit. But when I shift my head, his head comes across my chest. And what that allows my hand to do is sink even deeper so that his neck is in the crook of my elbow. Okay, so that shift is gonna be so important to start. I'm gonna shift and punch. Now you'll notice you can see my wrist bone uh, behind his back, whereas here you can't. So I want this nice and tight. That's the first motion. Now I'm gonna connect my hands. The way that I like to connect my hands on a high elbow guillotine is like this. I grab what would be like the karate chop part of my hand, okay? I wanna grab just like this, and now I'm gonna close the space. My left foot is gonna step, and I'm gonna pinch my left knee to my left elbow like this, here. Once I have this space connected, now I'm gonna start the action of sitting. And what I wanna do here is slide my right shin, sit up for me, Max, across Max's belly like this, okay? And my left leg is gonna go high on his lat. And we'll explain why that's important in just a second. But this is the position of my feet, okay? What I really want from here, turn this way, please, is for my left heel and my right knee to be actively squeezing to put enough pressure here. So I can't let my legs just be light. Both legs have a job. This isn't good enough, nor is this. I need both legs working for me. Even if Max's arm is in the way, which it likely will be, this is still the position of my feet. So when I start my high elbow guillotine, again, I make my shift one. I connect my hands two. Now, as I step around this corner, Max's head slipped back to that pocket of my armpit. I'm gonna put my right knee into his belly and I'm gonna throw my left heel right to Max's lat, like such. Finally, I'm just gonna crunch to my right shoulder for a strong finish. Let's see this from another angle. So again, we start here. Max's head is in the pocket of my armpit here. As I shift, it comes in front. Now I connect my hands and when I step, watch how Max's head comes back to the pocket. And now when I sit, my right shin goes across his belly. My left heel goes up to his lap. I sit everything nice and tight here. Look how high my left elbow is. So now Max can't drape. He can't fight my hands. He's gonna go to sleep. The finish is simply me crunching to my right for a strong finish on a high elbow guillotine. One of the main problems of a high elbow guillotine, or any guillotine of that matter, is my partner can roll and spin over the top. And so what you'll see oftentimes when guys sit on guillotines is as I start to sit here, my partner rolls and turns everything over top, okay? And when he does, I lose the guillotine, I end up in bottom side control. So remember before when I said I need my heel up here on his lap, that's why. If Max starts to spin out the same way, my heel will carry me over to full mount where I'll finish my guillotine. So from here, I shift one, I catch. I step, and now we'll go slow first. As I sit, when Max rolls, notice my heel carries me all the way over. From here, I'm gonna find my mount, and I'm gonna replace my head with my left elbow so my hands stay connected. Watch how my left elbow goes where my head was and I get a strong finish 
with my high elbow guillotine from mount. Okay, so again, let's go on this side, Max. We start from our front headlock. I shift, I catch. There's my angle. This angle is so important, guys. A lot of my students had problems here where they would throw their left heel first and then they would try to sit and they felt like there's just no way it's gonna get there. And that's true because if you look at it like this, it looks like a, a hip stretch or I'm trying to put my leg behind my head. But if you do this the right way, you're on your side here. And now this is more of me just bringing my knee to my chest first rather than flat where now my heel has to come so high. So this side on position makes it much easier for me to get that heel to his lap. So again, one, two. As I sit, Max rolls, he carries me up. And now from this top position, I just find my mount and I take my elbow where my head was for a strong finish. If I feel that I can't keep my hands connected, you can also finish this one-handed. With my right hand high, I'm gonna post my left hand as far in front of me as I can, and I'm gonna hop my hand across Max's center line as I drop my left hip. It's just gonna look like this. And I get a strong finish on our high elbow guillotine. Guys, if you like this video and you wanna see some other videos on front chokes, you can check out our video on Darce chokes right here. Uh, if you wanna see the full curriculum that I've been learning since I was six years old, it's right here at GetSelfDefense.com.